please let us know in the chat if you'd like to ask a question. And we'll start with Lee in St. James. David, what appealed to you about coming to Detroit? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, the moment you get a call from uh, Steve Eisenman, it catches your attention right away. Um, obviously, I had uh, several options that uh, I was bouncing around in my head um, with my agent, my family, and everyone. Uh, but I think the the Red Wings are a, a team with obviously with the, some of the signings that uh, happened today too. Um, I think they're they're ready to take a next step in in their uh, evolution as a team, and I wanted to be a part of that. Just in you know the couple of games you played against last season, what stood out to you? Kind of what jumped out at you about where they're at? Yeah, well, I mean, the the two young guys coming up at a great season. Obviously, uh, Larkin, his speed up in the middle is uh, something that can really do a lot of damage. I, I saw that with a couple of guys in St. Louis with their speed, and I, I think he's a great player. And uh, I, I mean, it's it's funny. And now I'm, I've played with Huso, the goalie, Sunquist, Fabry, uh, Waldman, and uh, those are guys I uh, exchanged a text message already. And obviously, looking forward to anytime you got familiar faces to. Join a group. Uh, we we kind of won. Some of us won together there in St. Louis, and would like to kind of bring some of that success uh, in Detroit. I don't know how much Steve intimated to you everything he was planning to do today, but what kind of statement did it make to you? You know, there was just one signing after another after another. I mean, he really addressed a lot of situations, uh, a lot of spots. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely impressive. Uh, I mean. Uh, Andrew obviously caught up at great playoffs when he joined the Rangers to had a great finish uh, to the year. Uh, so, and same thing with Terry out. Like, I, th I think he's a really uh, physical player, tough to play against. Uh, those guys are definitely just going to add a lot of positive to the team, a lot of momentum that you want to have uh, in games. And uh, again, like it's just, uh, I wanted to be a part of a solution. Uh, and I felt like I could have the opportunity to, to kind of show my leadership and uh, kind of show uh, what kind of player I can be. Uh, I know I'm getting older, but I still have a lot to prove in my head. Lastly, was it just, did you just want to sign a contract with somebody, somebody other, and other teams? I, I think I saw somewhere every team, every contract yeah. you signed <laughs> the Blues. No, I mean, it, obviously, uh, we were trying to make it work uh, for a while with the Blues, but it didn't work out. And uh, I'm excited to be with, with the Red Wings. Uh, that's that's what I'm here to talk about, obviously. Uh, today and um yeah no i think it's uh, it's special anytime a guy like steve eisenman calls you uh again it, it catches your attention big time you want to hear what his plan's all about uh, kind of through the my agent and everyone uh, i just felt like it was the right right move um i know sean orkoff a little bit played with him in anaheim as well and kind of had the, the good intention uh, from them that uh, they were really trying to do what they end up doing today and uh, it's exciting thank you yep and sarkhan yeah, hi, David. Uh, just, uh, what are uh, just what what are you hoping to bring to the team on the ice? Some of the elements uh, I know the uh, obviously yeah. the scoring, the scoring and and the grit uh, is are certainly uh, two elements that this team needs. No, I, I think two of, two of them right there for sure. Uh, I think throughout my career, I've uh, I've showed that I got a lot better defensively. I was. Uh, for a better part of the last four years, playing with uh, Ryan O'Reilly in the top line in St. Louis, uh, had assignment on both sides of the puck uh, with, with a minute left at times, uh, either trying to score or not get score. And it's something that um, over the years, I, I've been taking a lot of pride. And I've, I've really taken a step in that regard. Uh, so definitely I want to show that. I want to help the young guys uh, take steps forward too. I think that's very important for the organization. It's the value of the older guys, the type of culture they want to build. Obviously I'm going to, show up and just kind of be one of the guys to start, but then you kind of try and instill some of the stuff that you've learned over the years to, uh, to help the team out. Uh, you see some of the strides, uh, Robert Thomas, Jordan Cairo, those guys uh, have taken over the last couple of years. And in my mind, I want to, I mean, hopefully I'm in, in a little bit of a way I, I help them uh, become those guys and uh, hopefully they keep getting better. Thank you. Yep. Kevin Allen. Yeah, David, uh, you know, you're obviously a, a veteran, experienced player. And when you first started thinking about free agency, did you think about the Red Wings? And were you a little surprised that a rebuilding team, you know, called you? Or what were your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I find it funny to, to, to hear the word rebuild uh, in a way. After the experience that I lived in Vegas, um, I mean, I'm not sure how long it is at times to just turn a, a team around. You, you need the guys to, to feel important in their role. 
Um, everyone playing the role together. I know the cliches, but uh, I lived at uh, first and in, in Las Vegas when we went to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, I learned big time there, and I think it's something uh, that I can – some of those little experiences I can bring, and uh, this team is def definitely ready to – start competing on a reg regular basis for playoffs and uh, who knows what can happen from there. How did Steve sort of sell you on the idea of coming there versus maybe, you know, going to a, an established contender? I mean, well, uh, first of all, it's, it's pretty simple. When you start hearing uh, some of the guys you was trying to bring in and he didn't say names necessarily, but uh, just kind of some of the position and, and kind of uh, you, ex you expect uh, the guys exactly like you signed. Um, those are, are guys I'm sure many, many teams called on and they end up signing with Detroit. So um, I was really excited uh, to have the opportunity. I, again, I had a couple of options, uh, different ways, term, all that stuff, but uh, I ended up picking Detroit. I'm pretty excited. You were on a couple of teams, obviously, that surprised some uh, uh, people. Um, is, yeah. that, is that – you're obviously not uh, – you're undaunted by the challenge of being part of all that. Exactly. No, no, I, no, I'm, I'm not at all. I think it's just important to uh, get in, find uh, an identity as a team. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, uh, obviously, of, of all that because I haven't been in the room, but I'm really excited for training camp already to, to get going and start building that. Uh, sometimes it, it can take uh, a lot of months. Sometimes it's going to take a little bit sooner than we think. Um, I hope the guys that uh, have been around the, the team for a few years, several years, are excited with the guys coming in. Uh, some guys would experience a lot of games in the league, and we just want to come in there and support the uh, leadership group and, and just add to that and uh, help the team get to another level. Thank you, and welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Max Boltman. Hey, David, you mentioned uh, kind of Sean Horakoff indicating that they were trying to pull off something like this today. Can you tell us a little more about kind of what how those communications went and what they told you about their plans? Well, it was more through my agent because it was starting to move pretty quickly here at the end today. Uh, but uh, that's just how it went. I mean, I, I just kind of trust my agent to the process and uh, and flip every stone for me at, uh, at times. Uh, they didn't call me directly, but I just kind of had the, somewhat of a conversation through them. Those are guys that I really trust in the hockey world and not just uh, for me. And I think many people in the hockey world and um, yeah, just uh, just an exciting time, I think, to join a team that's ready to to kind of come up a level or two and, and really start uh, turning heads. They, this is a team that has certainly been looking for help on the power play for a couple of years here. Is that a part of your game that you think will, will fit right away? Well, yeah, I mean, that's again, that's something that we see in training camp. It might take some games during the season. I Hopefully not. Uh, you see uh, teams that Go on a good run on the power play. They usually start the year pretty well. Uh, if you start behind the eight ball and you have to dig yourself out of a hole, it's it's pretty tough to come back have a good season. Uh, yeah, again, like uh, I think with the Blues last year, we had the best power play in the history of the team, and I, I think uh, I was part of uh, of that uh, solution. And it's something that I want to help for sure. It's it's something I've I've taken a lot of pride in. I can help. Um, I think open up uh, different plays, um, just kind of with the vision. Um, looking at video and talking with the coaches, uh, I think that uh, that we can break down uh, other teams, and I'm looking forward to uh, to work with the coaches with that. And then, last thing for me, you've, you've played against Ben Chirot for a number of years now. What what are the biggest things that he brings to to this blue line now? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't get beat easily. He's uh, extremely physical, a big guy. Uh, so yeah, like when I saw that, obviously, it just kind of adds to the exact excitement. Uh, you hear about what, again, what the, the team's trying to do, uh, but you're not sure it's going to all come together. And as you keep scrolling Twitter and uh, your heart rate's at 160 the whole day, but uh, once now it's it's done and over with, and I'm excited. And I think uh, those are those guys are great additions. Thanks very much. Welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Art Regner. Uh, hi, David. Um, you're certainly a, a young man, but you're a veteran NHL player. And, I believe off the top of my head, you will be the oldest player on the team. And, and I'm kind of curious, you've talked about your leadership and your abilities. Who were some of your mentors when you were first breaking into the league that, that guys that uh, maybe when you're off the zoom call, you might give a call to and say, Hey, thanks. Thanks for helping me out along the way. Um, yeah, well, the, the spot that I'm in, I guess if I'm the older guys, I, I'm, I didn't even know that, uh, I guess you just told me 
But it was similar last year. I think the, the oldest guy on the team in, in St. Louis was um, Bozak last year, Tyler Bozak. Um, I mean, just throughout the years, I've learned from so many guys and even younger guys, younger leaders that um, I, I've kind of showed me even as an older guy uh, how to get better too. I played with a guy in Anaheim, Ryan Getzlaff, obviously just retired. Definitely one of the guys I look up to the most uh, for a lot of things. He's so calm in many ways uh, through a good and bad situation. Uh, I think getting into the league, a guy like Keith Kachuk uh, kind of showed me the ways a lot. Uh, I think back in the day, 2007, 2008, those years, uh, it was a lot different. But the young guys, they were a lot harder on on us than uh, than we can be nowadays. And it's just kind of the reality of, of the new world, which is totally fine with me. And again, I think I've helped out a lot uh, with the young guys that we had in St. Louis. And I'm, I'm looking forward to know those guys and, and kind of slowly and but surely do the same thing. If something needs to be said, are you more than willing to say it or, or do you try to, you know, kind of ease yourself into that situation? Yeah, well, I'm not sure the first day is necessarily the right time to do it. Yeah, I think you have to <laughs> kind of uh, earn your way and kind of show what you're all about a little bit. And obviously, guys trust uh, the experience, the amount of years you've been in the league. And uh, again, I, I'm just going to get a feel for, for it. I'm sure there's uh, leaders already in this room that are vocal, some not as much, and it was uh, very much the same in other teams I played on. And um, sometimes you, you just kind of react to however you have to react to. Like uh, if, if a guy in St. Louis was more quiet as a leader, then maybe I was ending up talking more than, than that. But if, if there's emotional guys in the room, if guys are talking enough, sometimes you don't have to pile on. And um, yeah, so uh, that's, that's how I approach the leadership, really. Great. Thank you very much. Welcome to Detroit. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Audrey Dahlgren. Hey, David, nice to see you again. Um, Good to see you. Welcome to Detroit, I guess, officially. Uh, I wanted to go back to what you were mentioning about how there's so many guys here on this team that you played with and that you know in St. Louis. You want to build this new culture with them, but how do you make sure that you don't make it like, you know, St. Louis Blues 2.0 type of situation here in Detroit, but you uh, build a new culture here with everybody? Yeah, well, I think every team you play on, there's a lot to, to, to learn and to bring, and uh, definitely there's a lot of positive from those teams. I think Sonny and I and Fabs and uh, Hoos and Wally uh, all have uh, good relationships together, and we're not trying to make it the Blues. We're trying to create our own identity and uh, it, it will be what it will be. But uh, again, I'm just uh, looking forward to, to kind of step in the locker room uh, once a couple of days of training camp, uh, all those testings and everything over with. And I'm, I'm sure most of the guys aren't necessarily looking forward to that day, but after that, uh, getting to know the guys, um, starting to create our own uh, identity, like you said, and it's not really about looking back. It's just learning from your experience and, and you can share uh, that with, with other guys at times. Thank you. Thank you. Last question, Jim Thomas. Hello, David. Hi, Jim. Uh, after 11 years uh, with the Blues, how, how tough is it to leave uh, uh, St. Louis? And what will you miss most about uh, about playing here? Yeah, it'll be pretty tough. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll miss the guys, I think, the most definitely. Uh, over the last uh, 11 years at different times, uh, been on the team uh, on and off, but the last four years were extremely special. I think I was able to um, build myself as a player and as a leader and uh, more than just kind of the player I was the first time around. Uh, I had a lot to prove and I still do. And uh, really at, at the end of the day, it'll be the guys, I think, just walk around town too. I think the fans were extremely sp special. Uh, it's a great uh, organization and uh, that's what it is. Have, have you talked to O'Reilly today or texted him or? We were at a wedding uh, last weekend together uh, and uh, we spoke a bunch there. So I, I mean, I think he's letting me be unless he sent me a message. I've probably got three, 400 of them right now, but um, <laughs> I'm sure I'll end up talking to him over the next several days. He's going to Give me some room. Uh, obviously, uh, a guy that uh, I have a lot uh, to thank uh, thank for, just being able to play on his line. Uh, extremely uh, good leader, captain of the team. Uh, he's only going to keep getting better, in my opinion. He, he works so hard at it, and uh, I, I'm proud that uh, I was his teammate. At the end of the day, what, was it just the, the Blues, uh, kind of their cap picture? They're, they're kind of hemmed in in some ways that, uh, that uh, prevented you from returning to them? Uh, that's not for me, that question. You can ask the other guy. 
Okay. Well, hey, David, uh, good luck to you. It was a pleasure dealing with you, man. Thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate it. See you around. All right. Those were all the questions we had. David, thanks so much for your time today. That'll be all for us. Thank you. Yeah, sounds good. Have a good one. Thank you.